Welcome back everybody, Maxwell here, bringing you another episode of Victoria 2, Pop Demand Mod playing as Scandinavia. So in the last episode, we, uh, we finally took Lithuania, after much, much bloodshed, much, much saltiness, and Germany got West uh, Glacia. And we noticed, or I noticed in between episodes, that Britain is a douchebag when it comes to Africa. They took all this land here. However, I also noticed, what's this? I can put another state here? That's, that's nice. I can colonize here. Cool. Can I colonize here, actually? What's the uh, life rating for here? I assume it's like 10. Yeah, 10. But from that, I might take over Zanzibar. Probably not. But the British are just douchebags, man. Douchebags. Take what you, they take what they want, and then that's it. Uh, so here's the big question of should I go after some of these guys? And I'm probably gonna go with yes at some point. Oh god, they're in the sphere of hostile. Oh, you guys, I can. You guys, I can as well. You guys, I can't. So I can pretty much take these. <laughs> But I don't have any units there, they don't have the frickin' Suez Canal built yet. Douchebags, why haven't you done it yet? Should it be done by now? Kiel Canal's done. That usually takes even longer. And the Panama Canal's not even done yet. Jeez! Oh wow, nobody actually sphered them. Maybe that's why. Oof. Um... Oh, should I sphere Morocco now? Alright, I'm trying to get up my relations with Italy so I can ally them. And uh, let's just continue. We won the war. Now we're in a period of peace. Hopefully this will lead to a crisis war, because I will cry. And finally, we'll maybe, hopefully, get the goddamn mobilized infantry. Because I want that now. I know there's a 3% chance, but come on, I need it. And look how much money we're making. It's like, we're making ridiculous amounts. So I'm just down to low amounts. So much money is rolling in. Oh. Invest. Oh, are they are they slowly falling behind enough? Because Britain is definitely uh, losing on colonial power. And hopefully, I'll be able to get this by so May seventh. Still a ways away there. Uh, Carlist Spain rebels. I'm gonna go, you got this, because none of them are in Madrid, and you have a bigger army than they do. I think you got this. <sighs> Feels so nice not being in a massive state of just panic because of everything. Germany losing-ish. Well, they're, they were always winning. Oh, again? In Tokyo? What? Japan's going- Japan is a world power. Oh, yeah. I can't form an alliance with them because I'm not happy enough with them. I'd love to, but they're really far away, actually. You really need to get the rest of, uh, you know, this stuff. I mean, that's 27 possible. I mean, prestige-wise, you might get a little bit. But you really need to get the rest of Italy. This just looks awkward right now. You're a freaking great power, and you don't have all of Italy? Poor shame. Okay. How- f You gave up on that one? You- You ass sad. I thought this was a 10 one. How are you colonizing that? I- What? How are these people colonizing stuff before it's allowed? That's a no-no. Well, Britain's just going everywhere, all the time. Um, national unions, yeah, I go with this one. Oh, but I mean, you know what, screw it. National, so non-social allowed. We're just switching to it now. Ouch, come on! 
Scandinavia, do better. <laughs> Work harder. Oh boy. They're actually like neck and neck there. How dare you? How dare you lose there? This is the one you should have won. This one's worthless to you, ish. Okay, then we have this one. We have any movement that's or no, all of them are social reforms. Eh, no political reforms anymore. Sad. Uh, I can do more navy ones. Oh, steel steamers. Probably should go with that one. When's the next one I can do here? 326. Soon. Soon, very, very, very soon. Unfortunately, I don't think they're going to uh, let me get away with this. Uh, remain calm. Yeah. Because I don't want to lose 15 prestige. I'm making bank. Like, redonkulous bank. Can I give people money? <laughs> Like, who could, who's that war that I could give money to that I would like them? Japan? No, you're not war with anyone. Oh god, and France is taking stuff there. Oi, oi, oi. Sweden is just difficult because you can't get a big enough army. That's like the biggest problem with Sweden. You just can't get a goddamn army. Your navy! My navy is freaking great. Steam Steelers. Submarines. Oh, baby. I can make submarines with this? Yeah. 5% chance. Huh. So, 7% chance every month to get submarines. Ooh, and Lindy. Great protector. Boom, boom. Could I now do this? I can. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, and I have more, more uh, thingies than you do. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave that right now for just that. Yeah, I'm just I'm, right now. I thought I was just going to stay here and not even go in the colonial game. Now I'm in almost all of West Africa, and I'm starting these random pockets over here too. I'm impressed with my colonial expansion. Once 1900 hits, and we get the uh, what is it again? Dark Continent technology, 25% or whatever percent chance that you get with Dark Continent from National Imperialism, Dark Continent right here. So before 1900s, my 60% chance, but I will get a 60% chance of getting it per month. So I'll pretty much immediately we'll be able to colonize stuff. How much is this going to cost? 12. I'll do it. I only lost 6. Because I want to see when this stuff pops up so I can just immediately click and do that. Like seriously, I have a knee of points to outshine them. Turku. Boom. Uh, any of these ones? No, they're all good. It's all good in Scandinavia. Yeah, I mean, look at nice, look at the nice Scandinavia. I just need to get this, this place right here. Oh, well, I guess this place and this place. Galish. Hmm. I mean, this is all just border nice. So I want to get this and this, these three, to make it nice bordery. I can't get Moscow, so I can't ever get to here. And I'm probably going to leave most of Germany, this stuff here, because Germany's helping me and I don't need land down here. So Smolensk, Smolensk and to the east, uh, that's probably what I want. Oh. Old age, so good pensions, wow, we are already at good pensions in 1892? Holy balls. Wait, what just happened in Zanzibar? We can invest, oh, we can invest in this, oh, jeez. <laughs> See, it, Zanzibar is the fact that, yeah, it's just weird in that it sent me to here because that's where the port should be, but... 
Oh my goodness. Really? Russia lost. Or fell to rebels. Interesting. Ooh, Ukrainian nationalists. Yes, please. Fall into more despair. Oh, what? They just started on the Suez Fall? I, really? That's... Oh, that's not... That's not good. You really should have had this a while ago. Oh, Italy, well, yes. Absolutely Italy. Oh, and you took the rest. Good. Good, good job. So now I have two major power allies. You still probably won't. My infamy is too high. Should I now push for the Ottomans? I guess, maybe? Huh. Who else would I want to ally? Maybe I'll just go with Imperial Japan. Just increase relations. Just here and there. Make them a little happy. Butter their toast. Rub their feet a little bit. Massage. Make some saunas for them. Yeah. Oh, well, this is not great. Population growth minus 0 0.1. 0 0.01. I want population growth. An opportunity has arisen to fund this, the spread of democracy in a neighboring state. If, this, if discovered, this could start a diplomatic incident and gain us infamy. But if we do not act, we will see, we'll be seen as abandoning those, those who live under the rule of tyrants. Liberals in Gutenberg are calling us to aid in... Okay. Where? Oh. So, I'm assuming we're doing it in Russia. Sure, why not? Wow, we were discovered. <laughs> well, Russia, what do you... Oh! <gasps> Papa, we have a truce. Damn. 96. Four years. Four years. Four cracking years. Yep, and you're already out with them. Oh, that sucks. Uh... No, unwise. I always forget about that one for a second. Are we losing the race in Zanzibar? Zanzibar. Z Zanzibar. Well, Britain, you got you're running out of colonial points. So what you gonna do about it? Huh? Also, the biggest thing is the fact that I don't think I'm ever going to make these guys states, because I need big population in my main uh, country that are primary, and then move here to then become bureaucrats to influence it. And the higher the population of the state, the less likely I'm going to be able to do that. And once again, my population is at 10.8 million, but like, look at this. Uh, Swedish is 13%, Norwegian 5 Danish 3.8. What am I? Icelandic, Sami, and Finnish. I, my population is like... Where's Finnish? 4.6. I'm like 55, or 25% of my population right now is actual, like, or 25-30% is actually, like, primary culture. Oh, 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 ha, ha, ha. Eat it! And we avoided a uh, crisis there. Fantastic, we do. And I still have more there, too. <laughs> I want to... This is going to be interesting. To do this all over again. I'm fine with that, though. I can do it all over again. Permanent prestige. Ah... Uh, where are my guards? Come on. I need the guards thingy. Um, yeah. I can actually decrease the amount I take from them. Oh, look at that. I dropped it by 15% tax rate, and it's still good. 
losing the race. Damn it. Bam. Five to four. Not really losing it now, are we? Uh, anti-pollution. Wow, we're really knocking out these social reforms. It's also faster than I usually am used to. Uh, 7.82. God damn. Capitalists, it's because our capitalists are just in the... We're losing capitalists overall, it seems. Even though I have six things just working on capitalists. And clergymen. And clerks. Damn, we're just losing everything. Uh, ooh. Really? Russia's relations would change by how to lose. Wow. Really? You lost Moldavia. I assume that's not this one. <laughs> you have Ukrainian. No, you don't. You're not going to lose that. That's unfortunate. Oh, look, you have communists there. Oh, and you. Really? You have some Yakut? Wow, you have some big coot nationalists over there. I doubt something's gonna happen there. That'd be interesting. That'd be very interesting. Ooh, Austria, Hungary, and the UK. Now this is definitely going to the point where this will be interesting, because the UK, ah, yo, wow, you were struck, 574. We're both like superpowers when it comes to, uh, navies compared to most other nations so it would actually be pretty close Austria 133 I don't know I don't know if I would go with this one because he's actually out with some pretty badass people if Germany ever like declared war on Austria Hungary and, and Russia came in I might be able to like coax that Although, you're still a great power. You are. So this would actually be a great war. Oh my god, it would be a great war. And France isn't in it. Actually, I'd much rather if France were in it instead of the UK. Because what the hell am I supposed to do against the UK? Look at that. What are you doing here? There's so many. So many bad guys. Uh, Italy, good to go. Who do I want to improve relations with? Good question. Very, very good question. What is this? Canada and the UK. Wow. You haven't released all of Canada yet? Wow. What happened here? Why is the relationship down? Should I even try to do anything else down here? There's not much worthwhile. Netherlands. Oh, you guys are going to be constantly at war with me. So. Huh. I guess I might as well just improve relations with the Ottomans. Unless they don't want me to. Yeah, this one. That doesn't seem like they hate the idea. Ooh, permanent prestige, hey! Ugh, you had to ally the UK again. Not except. Minus 27. Yep, and I will never be able to do it. There's too many alliances. You bastard. You bastard. Let's see, if I declare war on you, assuming everything, it would be Spain, Germany, Italy versus Austria-Hungary, Russia, UK. Three great powers versus two great powers and Russia, which is pretty much like uh, close to a first power, a great power, especially if they get their army tech up. 
When is this? 1900, 1900, 1900. I still can't go over that digging cap bonus that they had down there in France. That is baloney. Biggest baloney of their life. Still not done with that. What, okay, what else do you need? A uh, gas attack, we sh stormtrooper, national radio networks. There's, you just get it. It's a three percent chance. You really need to just get it. Um, responsibility. I'm gonna go with this. Get the defense, infantry maneuver. That's nice. Guard maneuver plus one. Good. Engineer support, dig in fort level. So get this stuff. Defense abilities will be vastly increased. Movement will be increased so I can actually catch up to people. And I'll build forts up in every place again. Hopefully it will work. Zanzibar. So I have more points than you by a long shot, but. We'll see if that will actually work out. Yeah. Well, a general step, that's not fantastic at all. Oh, well. Minimum work hours. Maximum work hours. Wait. Maximum work hours. What is this one for? Oh, this one. Alright, I was like, minimum wage, no. Yeah. Zero percent of the population. Oh. 8.09% 8 want this. They More people want this, but it gives more radicalism? That's impressive. So they just have to, uh... Wait? Upper house based on population. One year draft and said, Oh, two year draft's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Perfectly fine. Ooh, enact women suffrage. Oh, there we go. Uh, what does this give me? Five for exhaustion. More vote for poor middle. Yeah. Alright, good. Okay. I think with the enactment of women's suffrage, it's a good point to end this episode. Uh, oh, we didn't do that much. We had good times. We finally got this. We're trying to get Zanzibar. And uh, watching Russia crumble a couple times was fun. Lots of fun. But that's it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.